Some of you may recognize me as legendary news anchor Ron Burgundy. <laughs> like many American news icons with salon quality hair, I enjoy long walks on the farm, cool glasses of milk, and of course, high quality steaks at least three times a day with waffles. Have you ever wondered how some products are labeled local? Or have you ever asked yourself, would you rather eat organic or would you rather eat conventionally raised beef products? Me neither. But they said if I continue to ignore the teleprompter, I will indeed get fired. This is Channel 4 News with me, Ron Burgundy, and your Channel 4 News team. Brick Tamlin, Brian Fantana, Champ Kind, and Veronica Corningstone. With a news team so classy, we make Sinatra look like a hobo. Hello and welcome, everyone. I am Ron Burgundy here with my cloaca, I mean co-anchor, Veronica Corningstone. Today our news team is on the scene investigating the differences between local and organic beef production. Let's check in with our news team. Brian, can you hear us? Yep, thanks Ron and Veronica. We're here with Jonas and Junior who are organic beef uh, farmers. So Jonas, in general, um, what's the difference between organic beef and conventional products? Well, the general goal of organic beef farming is to re reduce the amount of physical and psychological stress on the animals. We also take into account the chemicals that they're exposed to, so things like prophylactic antibiotics and hormones are not allowed. Okay. I heard other factors, uh, such as um, the amount of space they have to live in, outdoor exposure and grazing exposure, as well as breeding practices all play into effect. Is artificial insemination allowed? You are allowed to use it, but it is discouraged within organic beef farming. Okay. So who decides what's organic and what isn't? Well, let me explain some of the regulation involved with organic beef farming. The Government of Canada has set up recommendations for farmers and certifying agencies, which they can use as guidelines if they choose to, but the government itself does not actually regulate any of the certification of operations. And certifying agencies are actually responsible for this and for follow-up with producers. I don't know why I'm holding this. Brick. Those are some of certifying agencies that farmers use to gain organic status. Oh? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really important that a consumer educates himself with the certifying agencies. And it's also important that a consumer ask questions. So then, what does local mean? The term local solely refers to a consumer getting their meat products from a farmer with this, within a certain distance from where they live. The biggest advantage to this is the relationship a customer has the potential to build with their producer. Like it was said before, a farmer doesn't necessarily have to have organic status to produce high quality products, and a local producer doesn't need necessarily produce very quality beef. Some consumers like the fact that when they're buying local, they're putting their money back into the local economy. Also, they need to take into consideration the elevated cost often associated with organic and local beef products. No matter what beef products a person decides to buy, whether it's organic, local, or conventionally raised, as long as they're well informed and happy, there is no wrong answer. So what are some of the health benefits of eating organic or local beef? Brick, for last time, stop eating grass. Well, actually, that's one reason that someone may choose to eat organic or local beef, depending on how much grazing exposure the cow has had. There are some studies that suggest that meat from primarily grass-fed animals is higher in polyunsaturated fatty acids and lower in certain saturated fatty acids, and this can actually contribute to the blood cholesterol. Well, there is a lot of research suggesting that grass feeding increased the meat, vitamin A and E, and antioxidant content. A lot of concern has also been raised about people who consume beef that has been exposed to antibiotics and hormones and the effect on their health. There is also a lot of opposing views on this, but if it is a concern to someone, they may take this into account. Good job, Brick. I like chickens. It's a cow hat. Well, thank you, Jonas and Junior. I think we can all agree, as consumers, we need to stay informed and ask questions about our beef and what's available. Thank you, Brian. So, Veronica, after all that information, I have to ask you, are you a local or organic raised cow? <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm kidding, but you do resemble a giant heifer. <laughs> thank you, everyone, and have a great evening. I'm Ron Burgundy signing off. Stay classy, Edmonton. <laughs>